hello everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and today we'll be talking about the dynamic forms with the help of react hook form so this is a video continuation of the previous video uh, which was about the introduction of the react hook forms so how we're going to use react hook forms with the validations and all so this is the just the valid another video of the same uh, same concept of with the multiple fields you can add or remove the input fields dynamically and also you can have validations on that so we'll just begin in the video so let me scroll through the page this is the use field array from the react hook forms which you're gonna use so if you scroll down uh, this is the same like the name control and <coughs> key names rules for the uh, controller object on the controller component you can call better name so how we're gonna use it like uh, we're gonna use the use field array uh, hook which will give us the fields the fields provides all the array fields uh, which belongs to this name suppose we have a object name of users so users all the fields related to the users suppose users and name email and password and if there are an array of uh, these object like uh, name email and password if there are four objects of the similar type uh, all the array means that array will be contained in this fields append help us to add that particular object at the end of these fields and the prepend is to add a object at the uh, means at the top at the index level zero or and append at the last index okay remove is to remove the last uh, whatever index we provide suppose we have provided a index uh, in the midway of uh, four or three something like that if the length is seven then it will remove the particular index we provided to it then the swap move and insert are the other things you can read about this uh, all the things have been given here you can just go through that one by one and that will be a means that you can just go through this basic stuff so let's begin in the video so this was the last form the login email and password if you go to the code i had the default values uh, this was the regex for the password that contains lowercase user case uh, uppercase number and special symbols now we have name email and address the schema for that which is it should be in string and name is required address uh, this was the stuff i was just teaching so remove this one and the password these were the three keys we were using and going forward if we scroll down we had the rhf form provider which i made with the rhf form provider from the react hook form and the basic our html form tag now if we go to other things rhf input which i created that day and this contains a controller uh, our controller component and which uh, renders the input of our own html and uh, all the validations are pass on uh, from the field to these input boxes and the error displayed uh, with the whatever error we have got from this schema is passed on to the con uh, use form context to this control and this control help us to render these errors here from the field state so this is how it goes and let's begin with the dynamic form here so i'll just add a uh, dynamic users form dot js and one thing i can do is just copy the whole react uh, register one so that i don't have to write all the stuff again and i think most of us likes to do this so here we go uh, and also we need to have a route here so just Where is the register here? So we have username, email, password. Uh, we have main things here, I guess. Okay. So let me just remove the state and city here. okay so what i'm uh, i will do is first of all in a row i'll have a name email and password uh, 
in the flex box so that we can repeat that flex box multiple times going in the dynamic form right so let's just begin with that so here is the flex call width 50 percent let me put it to the width full space 5 4 is good sign up multiple and now we will begin from here so this is our div so let me just let me just wrap all these things here right here we go and also we need some spacing so i'll add just px12 and py maybe two maybe that's enough and it's not taking the full width so let me just do one more thing is width full justify send And uh, items also sent. And to give it completely here, we'll have to give the width one by three. That will give us the thirty-three percent, I guess. Email is not taking the okay. So there we go and also we'll have one more thing is we need to have a add more button here right and now if we go this is good but we'll have an uh, we'll need to have a add more button right so dev okay i need to have a class name flex justify and and the items also and Okay, button, add more. I'll define whatever I need to do on the on click. Wait for that. So here we go. The add more is there. Good. Now, this is ready. But this is a simple form which we use every day, right? So what we need to do is we need to have a uh, means an array to be mapped every time the forms gets uh, more and more objects, right? So what we want to do here is now I'll just bring the use field array uh, which was here. Let me take that. For you. Where was it? Okay. So let me just bring it here. I don't need sap and also I'll just remove them. Prepend append is good, but I don't want it. I just want feeds and remove. And this will be our users, right? So users and uh, one more thing which we need to import it here, right? Now the default values will be users, but users will be of type. Uh, uh, array and array will have an object and what I'm gonna do is I'll just copy this as our let initial is equal to this one because uh, we want to use these object to append right uh, the append will uh, ask us what we want to append to that form so we'll give this object and this will help us to append it now we have name, email, password, right? But we need to change something here in the schema to validate each object of the array. So for that, we'll have users and users will be of here yep, dot array uh, dot of array will be a function here dot of Now what we need to do is the of 
will again have a it's an object and it will just take everything like this and this will be yep dot object so our final product needs to be an object like this and this is a year uh, users which is an array type of array and again it is array of again the objects and then this will have name name is required email is required password is required right now the thing is that how we gonna um, manipulate this name after users because uh, if we provide the name to a field it just uh, directs to this means locates to this user but how we gonna point to these name inside the array of users uh, okay so we're gonna see that so first of all we need to do one thing this is our div so we'll just use fields fields dot map field and it will be id maybe okay and we are gonna wrap everything here right now key will be field.id let's just check a website once if uh, anything i'm doing wrong or something like that field.id right you can just go through the website most of the things are available there we are just trying i'm just trying here to show you how to use right and now in this add more we'll have one thing append append functions which was defined here i guess okay i removed append by mistake no worries and append will take a initial means the object which we need uh, which we want to append you can just uh, think of think it of like l dot push something like that right and now the real part comes here defining the names how we going to locate inside that array right so first of all instead of name will be having a first of all we'll go to the users now in the users on which index we are so i named it id but it will be index for better so index and this index will then go to the name so this is how it's uh, uh, it is named okay if you think this is the users so users then it will go to the uh, which index of the array and then to the uh, object key right name so let me just do it first so that we can move forward my typing may be just a little bit slow but just bear with my friends so here we are i'm trying to append one so it is appending one more one more one more okay this looks good but we don't have an option to remove this one okay. and this uh, why there's an error if you uh, can figure out it's giving us the error or when we are adding more right which should not happen so for that since we are inside the form you'll have to define the buttons type so it is a type of button means a uh, button is a type of it okay it's just a button and if uh, we don't define it it just thinks of it as submit type and just tries to submit the form this is how it works so let me just refresh this page and if we do now we don't get that error, right but if we now try to submit it will give us the error for the every component and i'll just add one more here the remove button so that i will not give a, give just with the photo and you can have a better icons and all so that it looks nice i'll just 
node and index items and we'll just make this the node to belong yes you can have a item center which will align items to the center right but there's one glitch if we remove it here the every forms gets vanished so we don't want that for that you can have a, something like this if our index well there's one more thing here which we can do <coughs> if index equal to zero then hidden else something needs to be done right i'll just add a space extra space so that it doesn't collide with the auto one so if uh, you see now the re remove button has been hidden for now but if we click on add more the remove comes here but now there's one more glitch that now this should be having removed now because if uh, we want the first one it should also be removed right so i just one more thing so that fields dot length is greater than one have done something opposite i guess you know so let's just figure out why is this happening here this is where our logic comes in play so now it's saying that where it was one is greater than one than hidden else null right when we do add more it's now two if two is greater than one then hidden so we'll just try to put it here once so i hope you f got what i did here if not then just try to figure out this is a good thing <laughs> sometimes we do do mistakes and this is how it goes i'll just uh, color this button red class name text red 600 so here we are we are ready with the form you can see all the validations are working right there is some designing issues which you can uh, resolve i guess you are much better than that and if you go add more add more everything will work and on the submit if you want to check i'll just remove some of them here i'll just show you two things so name test at the rate test dot com password must be one two three at the rate w s a w now again something random test one at the rate test dot com password needs to be one two three four at the rate t r q just let me check if uh, we are getting all the data here now we have an object of users and in these users we have name email and password so this is all for this video my friends and if you want something interesting do like and subscribe the channel and wait for the another video i'm going to record and publish a new video on the reactor forms a much better one so thank you guys and please like and subscribe the channel for the more updates thank you